Oh, whoa! Haha! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Dispel magic. Oh, no. No, no, not the three point. Yeah. Oh yeah, wait. I already I already know what this what this is. It's Red Gamor and something else. I'll I'll go through it. Yeah, that one. No, not a sign. Cast. And no, you don't want to use the Mantarok one. Otherwise, that'll dispel our sword enchantment. Ah. Oh, and would you look at that? A dead body. But, before we examine it, this, uh... This might be a pretty smart thing to do. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I already know how this one... No, new spell. And there's an another runa. Yeah, thank rock. Okay, just in case something attacks us after we look at this. Which it will. <laughs> I've seen other Let's Play of this before. Uh, Paul's only ally in the fight against the darkness. His soul no, loud, no doubt lingers. Fused to the altar on which his life has been taken. Watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse. Feeling all hope escape him, Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he is alone. Alone against the darkness. Oh no! You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive. You seek them out, and this is what you find. Yes. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy? When he finds the very source of corruption? I think you're crazy. I think of irony. Whoa, well, what? Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. Oh. And that you stand for uh, evil. Uh... Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. No, not watching High School Musical 2 to death. No! In the name of our true lord, Ulyo. Come, my children. Feast on this morsel. And let us return to our preparation. <laughs> oh, you're probably thinking I'm screwed against two of them. But guess what else that I'm thinking? I'm not. Oh, yes, and we lose sanitary. Well, we lose health, actually. Come on, come get me. <laughs> you can't get me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> stupid bone thieves. You are you are so stupid, you with your all like, oh my god, we can get him even though he's inside the damage field. Oh yeah. Let's save two. Since we've been doing a lot. <laughs> ah, yeah. I'm still not gonna get over that stupid sanity effect. Uh, yeah, sure. Use the invisible key. What? How come you're not in here? <laughs> now let's go find out that he is Pius Augustus. 
Yeah. Ooh. The door is decorated more than most within the catacombs. Sensing an immense evil behind this door, Paul wonders if the ceremony the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Should Paul enter and put an end to the heresy? No, let's run for our lives. Let's leave this to the cops. <laughs> nah, let's just... Because <laughs> I remember fighting the big guy. Oh, yes. Why isn't anyone talking? Arr, this cutscene is very boring. Okay, not anymore. <gasps> oh no. Not him. Oh no. Oh, wait a minute. He's not so tough. This is the one that seeks to do combat but with me. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. He can't beat me. He only has one testicle. And I have... Okay, never mind. I lost a bet. <laughs> if I am to guard this place, then I will do it as I see fit. Be gone. Leave me. And I will guard the artifact as you have instructed. And that's the end. Basically... You go on a journey to find out that uh, somebody committed a murder and that the cathedral's evil and all that. And you don't even live to tell the tale. I have no, I have no idea what that chapter was for, anyway. A note from Edward. Uh, yeah, before, yeah, let's just, let's just stop right there. I'll read the note from Edward next time. Uh, yeah. Uh... Alright, hopefully it doesn't try to erase my games again. Okay, cool. Alright. See you next time on Eternal Darkness.